Hey guys, it's Leia. Today we will talk about how to solve absolute value inequalities. In order to solve absolute value inequalities, first isolate the absolute value expression on one side of the inequality. Then use the appropriate identity depending on the inequality sign in the expression. Finally, solve the compound inequality. If you forget how to solve compound inequalities, check out our video on compound inequalities. Now, let's see some examples. First example, we have the absolute value of 3x plus 1 is greater than or equal to 4. First, we isolate the absolute value expression. This is already done, so we can move on to the next step. Next, we use this identity. So, we have 3x plus 1 is greater than or equal to 4, or 3x plus 1 is less than or equal to negative 4. Finally, we can solve the compound inequality. First, we will solve 3x plus 1 is greater than or equal to 4. We subtract 1 from each side, and then we divide each side by 3, and we get x is greater than or equal to 1. Now we solve 3x plus 1 is less than or equal to negative 4. We subtract 1 from each side, then we divide both sides by 3, and we get x is less than or equal to negative 5 thirds. Now we combine our inequalities, and we get x is less than or equal to negative 5 thirds, or x is greater than or equal to 1. Next example. We have 2 times the absolute value of x minus 2 is less than 6. First, we isolate the absolute value expression. So, we divide both sides by 2. We get the absolute value of x minus 2 is less than 3. Next, we use this identity. So, we have x minus 2 is less than 3, and x minus 2 is greater than negative 3. Finally, we solve the compound inequality. First, we solve x minus 2 is less than 3. We add 2 to each side and get x is less than 5. Now we solve x minus 2 is greater than negative 3. We add 2 to each side and get x is greater than negative 1. Now we can combine our inequalities and get negative 1 is less than x, which is less than 5. Last example, we have 3 times the absolute value of 2x plus 2 is less than or equal to 8. First, we isolate the absolute value expression. We first subtract 2 from both sides, then we divide each side by 3. So we have the absolute value of 2x is less than or equal to 2. Next, we use this identity. We have 2x is less than or equal to 2, and 2x is greater than or equal to negative 2. Finally, we solve the compound inequality. We first solve 2x is less than or equal to 2. We divide both sides by 2 and get x is less than or equal to 1. Now we solve 2x is greater than or equal to negative 2. We divide both sides by 2 and get x is greater than or equal to negative 1. Now we combine the inequalities and get negative 1 is less than or equal to x, which is less than or equal to 1. As long as you remember the identities, solving absolute value inequalities aren't very hard. For more help or practice on this topic, visit www.symbolab.com and click on the Practice tab.